And Tascadero cyclist recently accomplished an incredible feat. He won the world's longest bike race called the Great Tour Divide. And he did it after recently being diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Who cares about how hard it is? You know, and you start to kind of learn to overlook the, the challenge. 41-year-old Brian Lucido was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes last year. And some may say learning to adapt to a disease that will last for the rest of your life is the biggest challenge of them all. I, I'm not going to say I feel blessed that I have diabetes, but um, I feel blessed that it's that and not something that um, I can't control. And this is a disease that you can actually, you know, get on top of. And if you, if you work hard, you know, you can have a totally normal life and, and just as long, too. Shortly after learning about his diagnosis, Lucido began carefully and methodically preparing himself for the world's longest bike race called the Great Divide. It covers nearly 2,800 miles, 200,000 vertical feet, climbing over the Rocky Mountains, across multiple states while dealing with treacherous weather conditions. You know, we had a lot of difficult sections, a lot of snow, way more than like the previous years. Lacido crisscrossed the Continental Divide through the wilderness alone and as fast as possible while pushing his body to the limit. So I pushed really hard in both of my Achilles and injured both of them and I could not walk. And I was like, my race is over. But I invested so much energy in getting there that I'm like, I can't, I can't just stop today. I'll, I'll do one more day. And after 14 days, 22 hours, and 45 minutes, rookie Brian Lacido took first place. I didn't think it would be possible, honestly. Um, I mean, there's a lot of complex things that you have to deal with when you have diabetes. And uh, learning like what I could do, um, and you know, once I figured that out, um, I realized that, yeah, it is possible. The Tour Divide has officially existed for 10 years now, making Brian the 10th winner, and he holds the third fastest time.